I think it's been a couple of weeks or so since we've talked about Ruby, and today we're going to have a nice laugh thanks to Ruby. If you enjoy these type of entertaining short segments, please consider liking and subscribing for more every day, and let's take a look. In a tweet with over 5,800 likes, Ruby official says it's official. Justice League and Ruby Superheroes and Huntsman Part 1 is coming in 2023. Wow, they've even got the banner and everything. Announcement is not going so well, though. Check it out. Top comments. Please, Warner Discovery, cancel this. I'm on my knees. Nobody asked for this. Please, we just want Volume 9. It's been two years. You got a Ruby fanatic white knight here trying to defend that. We're getting it next year. Okay, so three years later. As you take a look at other companies that are owned by mega corporations, like Rooster Teeth is owned by Warner Discovery, and those companies are not having these same sort of issues that continue to persist in Rooster Teeth. So come on, fanatics. It's time to face reality. And I'm not saying those companies are perfect by any stretch of the means. I'm just saying RT's continual excuses with Volume 9 are not really flying anymore. Case in point right here. Just because you didn't ask for it doesn't mean nobody else did. Let people have nice things. Then can we have volume 9 before we die of old age? You got people here concerned about possible crunch at Rooster Teeth as well. That's an issue that Rooster Teeth seems to have had for a while. I'm not sure if it's going on now, but it was a big controversy some years back especially. And indeed, apparently this Justice League thing is part of why volume 9 has been delayed so long, according to Anthony, saying that that was a claim made at RTX by Rooster Teeth staff. Now, if that is true, it's just another example of how clueless Rooster Teeth is because the fans have been telling RT for a long time what they actually want. Like Ruby Chibi, where'd that go? People loved Ruby Chibi, bring that back, and also make a prologue of Team Stark. People would love that. What does RT do instead? Oh, how about a Justice League crossover that's gonna negatively impact the show itself? And let me be clear here, I actually think a Ruby Justice League crossover in of itself isn't like a bad thing. I actually like the Justice League, and I still like Ruby, kind of. Um, but it's the fact that they do stuff like that when it negatively, once again, impacts the show itself, and then they ignore what the fans actually want. It's all that stuff where it's just like, come on, what are you doing? And you can see more people here trying to defend Rooster Teeth and also criticizing this choice as it has once again negatively impacted Volume 9, apparently. And that's really all there is to say about this, man. You know, just another situation where people are giving backlash to RT and stuff with Ruby has negative news. It's been going on for years and years and years. What else is new? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you there and in the next segment on the way.